and our studio portrait. This week, the soprano, Anna Shepherd, is accompanied by Wilfred Parry and a mixed program of songs, and here she is to tell us something about herself and the music. My first recollection of singing goes back to when I was about three or four years old. I remember being awakened by my mother in what seemed to be the middle of the night and being taken downstairs only to be greeted by our Irish doctor and the sight of a vaccination needle. The vaccination over, the doctor requested that we should sing and his choice was there were ten green bottles hanging on the wall. I thought this somewhat inappropriate for this programme. But I felt that the incident might be mentioned as it is one of my earliest memories of singing anything. After this, I went to the other extreme and found much enjoyment in the singing of hymn tunes with my father. When I was five, my favorite hymn was, O Jesus, Thou Art Standing Outside the Fast Closed Door. I feel a great step forward from There Were Ten Green Bottles. During the hymn tune phase, my school days started, and it was there where I learned the song which is first in this program, To the Moon. Each child was given a copy of this song, and we ourselves had to cover it with stiff wallpaper and then secure it with raffia. I am using this same copy now. For me, this song is very nostalgic, as it brings to mind all the sights, sounds, and smells of kindergarten, that lovely almond-smelling sticky paste, those autumn nature walks, and the feel of new books. I was six, had just started piano lessons, and life was very exciting. To the Moon by Schubert. After I finally left school, I continued with my piano studies, but also decided to take singing lessons as a change from hours of piano practice. I enjoyed this new venture very much, but did not take it too seriously, as nobody, I least of all, had ever thought that I had a voice of either quality or quantity. This enjoyment lasted until one day my teacher told me, to my horror, that she had a singing engagement for me. I was to sing a group of songs at an informal dinner. Her final instructions to me were firm and practical. Honor, be sure not to start until the last coffee spoon has disappeared. I carried this advice to the engagement, but to my dismay, things were not quite as I had expected. The informal dinner 
was, in fact, a hot pea and pie supper, and my accompaniment not only the piano, but the hearty clatter of knives and forks. This leads me to the next song, which, although not the first of the group which I sang at the supper, was the first to bring about any lull in the gastronomic activities. Elizabeth Poston's Sweet Suffolk Owl. I had the opportunity to join the Leeds Guild of Singers and the Dr. Melville Cook. It was during a concert with them when I had no more than a few notes to sing that the conductor Morris Miles heard me and, to cut a long story short, after a kindly lecture and much bullying, I was eventually persuaded by him to try for a place at the Royal Manchester College of Music and to continue my musical studies there. This I did, and at the same time he offered me a number of engagements with the now gone but not forgotten Yorkshire Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> 